Can you solve this? And with regards, I'm very happy to tell you that this is a very simple and straightforward question, but we have to take note of in where, how to deal with it. So the first point, we are given the question reads, four square divided by two into four minus eight, bracket close divided by three. So we are required to simplify this and to have a final result. And this question is one of the viral questions and I hope it's going to be very simple and straightforward. And the phobia you have in this type of problems, I guess, just after going through this video, is just going to be deleted and eliminated totally within your system. So going further, before we solve this, you can say, we can say we have a power here, 4 raised to power 2, and we have the signs given, the signs for notation involved. We have the division sign, we have the subtraction sign, and we also have the division sign here. But we also have a multiplication sign like within the two and the brackets, but it is not visible, but we have to know that there is a bracket, that there is a multiplication sign within the two and this. So in solving these problems, we have to do the order in which the signs must be used. So the order in which the signs must be used, we consider the two commonly used words, we are will consider the bid mass, and the other one will consider the board mass. So let's see what we, we what we can know of bid mass and what we should know of board mass. So bid mass, bid mass and board mass, let's consider PEMDAS. So what do we mean by bid mass? This, the B stand for bracket, right? And we have the I stand for indices. Or index indices or we can also call it as sim simply sim simply the exponent we have d which represents as the division and we have m which represents as multiplication and we have s we have a which represents the addition and the last one which is subtraction so this is the meaning of these words, B, I, up to the last one. Similarly, if we consider again PEMDAS, this P stands for parentheses. And we also have the E stand for the index or the, or the exponent, the index or the exponent. When you consider the exponent or indices. So we also have M, which means multiplication we have d which means division we have a which means addition and we have the last letter which means subtraction so this is just the basic points we have to take note of so the next point how can we make use of these terms here the b here is simply the bracket it's also similar to this p the, the parenthesis. When you have brackets in any in any in any normal similar problems like this, so one of the first things you must do, you must try to remove the bracket. Just after you have removed the bracket, what comes what comes next again? For the bit mass, they will consider the i. If you have any power or index or or degree, you must have to try to resolute that degree first. You must have to go in accordance of either bit mass or PEMDAS. So you must have to target the power, like the question gives you, we have four square. One of the first things we are going to do, we must have to clear the bracket. Immediately you clear the bracket, what comes next again? The index. The index they are telling you about, you need to consider any number with an index form, or any number with a power form, or any number with a degree form. So you work it out. Just after you work it out, what follows next is the division. You see? What follows next is the division. After you work the division, what follows next is the multiplication. After the multiplication, the addition and the subtraction. If you consider again for PEMDAS, PEMDAS and the, uh, for, for PEMDAS, the parentheses and the bracket are almost the same. You remove the parentheses, so you remove the bracket. If you come to the index, it's almost the same as this here, which, which is the same. Here, for the bid mass, you see the D comes before M. For the PEMDAS, M comes before D. But in this case, the division and multiplication, they work hand in glove. You see? They work hand in glove. They always work with left to right, left to 
right? This is the concept you have to take note of for division and multiplication. Division and multiplication always work with left to right. That anytime you have division and, 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 and multiplication sign, like the operation, you must start it from the left and you end it to the right. This is a constant rule you must work with. When you have division and multiplication sign, you work, you start, you start the operation from the left and you end it to the right. So regardless of here, M comes first before D or here, D comes first before M. So when you have this, uh, these problems, always start working with simply the operation with, you start from the left, you come with, it goes to the right. So, so if we consider the addition and the subtraction, these other two guys, whatever way you, you deal with them, if we have a number or if you have some, some set of numbers, you can either add or subtract them. You can either start by subtracting before you add or you start by adding before you subtract. So the addition and subtraction, they don't change the result of any figure. You can either add or subtract. Our main target or our main problem here is the division and the, the, the multiplication. You see, the division, the, the multiplication this is where the problem lies. So this is just the meaning of the bin mass, each of the words, and this is just the meaning of PEMDAS, each of the words. So um, we are going to solve three problems, which we can see the relationship between this one. But this is going to be our target, four square divided by two into this. So what do you think is going to be the number? What do you think is going to be the result for short numbers given? So if we start from the question given, we can use either of these. We use either bit mass or PEMDAS, either of the one we use, and we go with the order of the numbers. So if we start with the first, so as I said, if we use the bit mass of the PEMDAS, like whatever it says, let's rewrite it again. Bit mass and stroke PEMDAS. So we start with the bracket. We remove the bracket first or the parenthesis. This is the first point we are going to do. If we remove the bracket, we know there is a bracket here. So we write 4 raised to the power 2 divided by, we have about 2 here. So if we remove the bracket, that means it simply means you work what is inside the bracket for it to remain a single number. So for work, what is inside the bracket is 14 minus 8 is 6. So it's going to be 6. But what is the sign between 2 and this bracket is the multiplication sign. You see, so we'll put there 6, and we write our division sign, and 3. You must have to go the order in which the numbers are given. You see, the, the color is sim simply the operation is very, very important. The operation is very, very important. You must have to go in accordance of these letters given. So, the bracket is deleted, or the parenthesis is deleted. What next again are we going to do? We, we use the index, or we use the A, the degree. You see, so we we'll consider the, our next target is this four square. You see, here there is another point again. You can use a calculator, like someone can just use a calculator four square divided by two bracket open 14 minus eight divided by three. If you input it this way, you are going to have something wrong. Let me just input it the way the calculator is given. If you just say four, I don't know if you can input four raised to the power two divided by two bracket open 14 minus eight. Bracket close divided by three. The results give us four upon nine. I hope you can see it. I hope this is visible. You see, so the answer is four upon nine, and this four upon nine is not a result. So if you want to work it in accordance, always try to take note of that it's a multiplication sign between the bracket and this number. So the moment you input the, the multiplication sign. That will give you the real number because the calculator what you tell the calculator is what the calculator is going to give you if you say two plus two definitely the calculator is going to give you the result of two plus two what he, what he input is what you are going to have from the calculator so if you input the values correctly in other form definitely you are going to have what is supposed what you, you are looking for so if you don't indicate the multiplication sign here you are going to have something different apart from what you should have within this solution so let's input it again. We say 4 raised to the power 2 divided by 2. You have to indicate your multiplication sign. If you multiplication sign times, you open your bracket. You see? You open your bracket. 
you open your bracket times, open your bracket, you say 14 minus 8, you close the bracket, divided by 3, so the result here is 16. So what we are going to have at the end of the day, after going through this question, is 16. You see? It's 16. But if you do it reverse way before, if you input 4 raised to power 2, divided by 2 without the multiplication sign here, you say 14 minus 8, you close it, divided by 3, as we, as we did it earlier on, you have 4 square into... 4 square into... If you have this, so the answer is going to be 4 over 9. You look it. So what you input is what you are going to have. So in this case, you have to always, when you have a number, corresponds with the brackets. That's the reason we have to do the bit mass or PEMDAS. You have to remove the parentheses or the bracket first. So we have removed it now. We can see the, the multiplication sign. We rewrite the four squared. The division sign is rewritten. And we have the two. The, the sign between these two and the bracket is, is multiplication. So when we deal with the bracket, 40 minus 8 gives us 6. And we have the division sign. And we rewrite the 3. So this is it. So there is a case between when always you work with the division and the multiplication. Okay, let's leave that point. Now, after we remove the bracket, what next point again? We consider the, the we consider the index form because the index is here, which is four is part two. The index given here is two, or we we consider the degree of the power. So if we consider this, this is going to be our next target. You see, don't say four divided by two. And the end of the year, two raised to the power two. That is very wrong mathematics. You deal with the order of the numbers in which the way they are given. The number of the, the order of the of the signs. So our next target is the index. So if we consider this index, four raised to the power two is simply means four times four, which is sixteen divided by two times six divided by three. See, so we have this. So when you have division and multiplication, you know, for bit mass, division comes first. For PEMDAS, the multiplication comes first. Someone might say, let me first multiply here before I divide. Someone might say, let me first divide before I multiply. This is where the confusion lies. This is where the tricky part lies. So anytime you have division and multiplication, always start the order from the left. You move from left to right. I think when you do with this concept, you always have the right value. Move from the left and you onwards to the right. So if we do that, 16 divided by 2 will going to give us what? 8 times 6 divided by 3. You see? Always we are moving from left to right. We are done 16 by 2 is give us 8. We write the multiplication sign and we write the 6, the division sign, and 3. We continue to move from left to right until we have a single number. Moving forward, 8 times 6 will give us 48 divided by 3. You see? We also continue again to move from left to right. 48 divided by 3, this finally gives us 16. You see? So this is what we're supposed to have. But if you do that, you say, you follow this a multiplication, 2 times 6 is 12, 16 divided by 12, you end up having something different. So the order in which Simply the operations are used is very, very important, is very, very material. So you have to take note of that. You see, the order must be considered. Anytime, the most tricky part here is when you have a number alongside with a bracket. Always let your mind know that there is a multiplication sign must be here. You must have a multiplication sign within these two numbers, within the bracket and the number. That is the most tricky part. That normally confuse people. That's the first part. And the second part again that confuses people, like when you have division and multiplication, always start the order from the left onwards to the right. If you do these two things, you will never have any problem solving with the order of operations dealing with set integers or set numbers. I hope this is clear. This is the first point. So we try to solve again something similar to that. So if we try another question, let's say we have this order, very simple. This is the A part. Let's consider another similar question. I've been seeing this question which has been disturbing people. This is this. Let's see. We have 
let's say 5 into 5 divided by 5 into 5. We have these sets of numbers. 5 into 5 divided by 5 into 5. So if we have this, so the first point, you can either use the bit mouse or the PEMDAS. But what you have to consider, anytime you have division and multiplication, the operations will start from the left onwards to the right. That's the first point. And the second point, when you have a parenthesis or a bracket, you must have to remove it first. So if we remove the parenthesis here, so this is going to be, since we have 5 into 5 divided by 5 into 5, what can we do? We remove the brackets. You, you know, the sign between 5 and this bracket is multiplication sign. So we write it 5 times 5 divided by the sign between this 5 and the, the, this multiplication sign is this five, this bracket sign is multiplication, so it's going to be 5 times 5. So these steps must be considered. So as I was saying, if you consider this first step, since we have division come first, you see, so in this case, what works here is the big mass, because just after the bracket and the index, we consider the division or divide. So in this case, what will work here is the PEMDAS. Because just after the power, uh, just after the parenthesis and the index, what comes next is the multiplication. So we first uh, multiply. So these two words are somehow similar. So in conclusion, anytime you come across such words, always either you come across division and multiplication. Either division comes first before the multiplication, or the, multi or the, the, the multiplication comes first before the division. What in sense you must do? Always start the operation from left onwards to the right simple so if we start if we start the operation from left to right so from left to the right we say five times five this gives us 25 divided by five times five you see it here we continue we, all, we are always moving from left to the right 25 divided by five this gives us five times five because five times five is 25 we write the division sign we maintain our five we write the multiplication sign in the 5. Next one again, 25 divided by 5 is 5 times 5, and 5 times 5 gives us 25. So the answer for this particular question is this. You see? So the order of operation in such problems is very, very important. The order of operation must be followed. You see? So there is also another viral question that has been moving right across social media. Let's try that again, and that's going to be the last question. The questions like 60 divided by 5 into 7 minus 3. I think this is it. 60 divided by 5 into 7 minus 3. I think it's something like this. So if we work this, the same process, the same process, the order of operation must start from the left, to the right that's the first point but before we start we have a bracket there so you have to know the sign between the five and this bracket so you see so in this case you have to consider the parenthesis so if the parenthesis is removed or if the bracket is removed we write 60 divided by five and the sign between this five and this bracket is multiplication sign automatically now seven minus three will give us four this is what we have you see will give us 4. So now 60 divided by 5 is going to give us 12 times 4 and 12 times 4 will give us 48. I think this is it. I see. It's, there is also another similar question I have seen. Let's just solve it and clear the doubts. So 5 divided by 7 minus 4. Since here is 3, let's use 4. It's the same thing again. We'll follow the same process. 60 divided by we'll remove the we'll remove the bracket so five the sign between this five and the brackets automatically is multiplication sign and seven minus four will give us three 60 divided by five as i was saying we start the operation from the left onwards to the right so 60 divided by five is 12 times three and 12 times three gives zero us 36. i hope this video will make you happy and i'm very happy to let this secret out thank you and stay blessed. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and give a comment. Thank you.